Good afternoon. It's May the 19th, 2017. Time to wrap up another trading day and take a look at tonight and tomorrow. We'll start with our disclaimer. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations, unlike an actual performance record. Simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have over or undercompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account willer is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay, we came in this morning and we wanted to buy the 4547 area. We thought that the Mueller appointment might contain the selling and then we'd get a relief rally. We had drawn 79 to 67 as best resistance with the spill coming from 75 to 79. That was uh, where we were. So 75 is resistance right now and you got to guess that probably 55 is support. Um, good trading here, good trading there, good trades right there. You had to come in early. A retest failure gave you a little. Retest failure mode trade gave you a lot. And then that's the next trade that produced. Then we're into chop and then a Comey announcement or a review of Comey's two testimonies before Congress and the Senate where no obstruction um, was um, sought um, took the market up and we know we knew that before so you have to wonder what, what the hell anybody everybody got so excited about headlines news algos Lower low, lower high, this market can sell as long as we stay below 75, it can sell. My feeling is is that uh, the high is probably not in. The market selling was based on maybe Trump has lost control and may not get his tax and deregulation programs through. And we'll have to see if that is the case. Um, resist resistance is going to be 70 to 75, so right now 74, 76, sell 1. 79.81 sell 2. On the uh, buy side, um, 64.66 if we were to close right now it would be buy 1. And then 55.57 would be buy 2. It would open up a little bit to the buy side. Everybody's getting excited here in Wichita about the potential for storms tonight. This we haven't had, uh, I think we had one major alert last year, and I don't think the sirens have been off twice in the last two years here. So, people are getting out of from work early to get home and get prepared for the potential big storms tonight. Weather's channels are all excited. The radio with their storm watchers are all excited, so... Bad news sells. We're going to have ourselves a heck of an afternoon and evening. Every area has its uh, potential uh, natural disasters. Flooding, tornadoes, earthquakes, volcanoes, hurricanes, you name it. And we're no different. Okay, on the bond and note, higher low, higher high, find a place to buy it. Uh, the break came with a late rally in the uh, E-mini. But we didn't didn't tear the money down. So 10-year uh, was trading inversely with the E-mini. But looking at the 10-year, if you had to make a trade at the market, you would it would be a sell based on the day's distribution. So right now... 11 to 15, sell 1. Baker Hughes rig count is on the news we have tomorrow. Sell 2. Uh, 1 to 5. Maybe a little lower in London. Buy 1. 25, 29, buy 2. The E-mini sells. Um, we want to be long. The E-mini rallies, we want to be short. Looking at the 30-year, it's 
spread didn't didn't do much today. It just kind of kind of really hang in, hung in there pretty well. So um, 28 to the buck, number one. Three to seven, sell one. A little lower than we were this morning. 11 to 15, sell two. On the buy side, 16 to 20, number one. Buy nine to 13. One to five, buy two. Gold came off quite a bit this afternoon, more so than treasuries. Can't eat gold, have to sell it. Higher low, higher high, F1 says we can buy it. That will be countered by the F2 screen where it got hit pretty good. And you could do a Z split for move out of the middle or a B split for move out of the middle if you combine those two. So we had a couple of distributions. We got a break basically at 50. So 49, 51, so one. That's pretty aggressive. 54, 56, kind of middle of the road. E mini sells. We do not want to be short gold. If E mini rallies, we want to be long. 44, 46 by one. And 40.42 by 2. Took a long time for us to get our stops over 50, but when we got them, we got them. They wiped out every stop there was up there. Okay, 49 to 51 is for London. Uh, tomorrow morning we'll adjust it up, I'm sure. Depending on what the E-mini does this afternoon. Crude oil tomorrow is contract expiration. I believe that'll take us higher. So stops above 50 is the play. Uh, should be in the July contract no later than tomorrow. And we have an outside day, higher low, higher high, can trade higher, not an outside day. My eye fooled me. It says trading range. This is the July contract. So, uh, 49.50, excuse me, this is June. Thought I rolled that baby over. That was the intent last night. I didn't save it. Looks like it's trading about 25 ticks below. We had a high of 93 today. Won't take too long. So we're going to be selling 50, 50 and a quarter. May take a 75 to get in, and then 50, 50, 50, 75. Break in the markets at 50, 35. On the buy side, 49, 49 and a quarter. Probably have to pay up on that and 4850, 4879 for buy two. So I still think we're going to go above a quarter. And the euro uh, 
Uh, looks like we may have an outside day on the uh, euro trading range. And uh, the big news will be Trump's swing through the Middle East. I believe it's this weekend. I'm pretty sure it is. It's supposed to be in Saudi Arabia on Sunday. And um, they're supposed to announce a pretty um, major overhaul in the U.S. Middle Eastern policy. So we'll see if that actually happens. Change the game, a game changer, so to speak. Okay, um, so basically uh, 109, 109.10, buy one, 10.75, buy two, how about 111. On the uh, sell side, uh, 40 to 50, sell one, 75, sell two. Don't have a good feel for that one. That does it for this May the 18th, 2017. Time to book it for the evening. I will see you all bright and early in the morning. You all have a great evening.